Hello friends, welcome to Pediatrics and Neonatology. This video is about short stature in children. First, the definition of short stature. It is height less than 3rd centile or less than 2 standard deviation below the mean for the age and sex or growth velocity less than 25 centile over 6 to 12 months of observation. Now, there are two types of short stature. Number one, proportionate short stature and number two, disproportionate short stature. Now, the causes of proportionate short stature are number one, constitutional, number two, familial or genetic, number three, chronic disease as celiac disease, inflammatory bowel disease, chronic liver disease, chronic kidney disease, renal tubular acidosis, congenital heart disease or any pulmonary disease. Number four, malnutrition. Number five, endocrine diseases as acquired hypothyroidism, isolated growth hormone deficiency, hypopituitarism, Cushing syndrome or pseudo-hypoparathyroidism. Number six, syndromes as Turner syndrome in female, Noonan syndrome in males, Bartet beetle syndrome, Prader-Willi syndrome, Down syndrome or Russell Silver syndrome. Number seven, psychosocial deprivation. And number eight, osteogenesis imperfecta. Now the causes of disproportionate short stature. Number one, congenital hypothyroidism. Number two, rickets, especially hypophosphatemic rickets. Number three, skeletal dysplasia, except osteogenesis imperfecta. In above three conditions, there are short limbs and upper segment to lower segment ratio is increased. Number 4. Mucopolysecretosis, especially Morcu disease. Number 5. Glippel Field Syndrome. In these two conditions, there is short trunk and upper segment to lower segment ratio is decreased. Next, how to investigate a case of short stature. For proportionate short stature, following test should be done. X-ray for the bone age, complete blood count, erythrocyte sedimentation rate, renal function test, liver function test, and anti-tissue transglutaminase levels. Thyroid function test, serum growth hormone provocative test, insulin-like growth factor 1 IGF, and IGF binding protein levels. Turner syndrome workup, serum FSH and LH, karyotyping, abdominal ultrasound, chest x-ray, ECG and echocardiography. Now for disproportionate short stature following test, x-ray for the bone age, thyroid function test, serum calcium phosphate, alkaline phosphate and parathyroid hormone levels. Next, skeletal surveys. Now how to manage a case of short stature? Counseling of the patient and the parents about the cause, symptoms, complications and diagnosis should be done. Treatment options and prognosis should be discussed. Any acute problem should be appropriately treated. Next, treatment of the underlying cause is given. For example, in growth hormone deficiency, recombinant human growth hormone or in celiac disease, lifelong gluten-free diet or in hypothyroidism, thyroxine is given. Now following are some important points and consideration which a healthcare provider must kept in mind while dealing a case of short stature. First some important calculations. Length and height. At birth it is 50 cm. At 1 year it is 75 cm. 2 years it is 85 cm. 3 years 90. 4 years it is 100 cm. Then till 10 years age it is calculated as 5 cm per year. Next, head circumference growth rate. In first 3 months of life, it is 2 cm per month. At 3 to 6 months age, it is 1 cm per month. At 6 to 12 months, it is 0.5 cm per month. Then at 12 months of age, it is 47 cm. At 2 years, it is 49 cm. 3 years, 50 cm. 6 years, 52 cm. In 10 years of age, it is 53 cm. In adult, head circumference is 56 cm. Now, weight calculations. For less than 1 year, it is 8 in months plus 9 divided by 2. For 1 to 6 years, it is 8 in years multiplied by 2 plus 8. And for 7 to 12 years, it is 8 in years multiplied by 3. Next is mid-parental height in centimeter calculations. For boys, mother's height in centimeter plus 13 
plus father's height in centimeter is equal to child's height plus minus 7.5 and for girls it is father's height in centimeter minus 13 plus mother's height in centimeter is equal to child's height plus minus 6. Next is bone age. It is an indicator of skeletal maturation. It is assessed on x-ray. Knee x-ray for newborn, shoulder x-ray for 3 to 12 months age, wrist and hand x-ray for 1 to 12 years age, and elbow or hip x-ray for 12 to 14 years. Next, chronological age. It is the actual age of the child. Then height age. It is the age which child would have reached his height. That is age at which child's height fall. It is assessed by the growth charts. Now causes of bone age is equal to chronological age. These are familial or genetic short stature, Turner syndrome, skeletal dysplasia and intrauterine growth retardation. And when bone age is less than chronological age, that is bone age is delayed. The causes are constitutional short stature, growth hormone deficiency, hypothyroidism, chronic illness and hypercortisolism. Now if chronological age is less than bone age, that is bone age is advanced, causes are obesity, precocious puberty and hyperthyroidism. Now upper segment to lower segment ratio, birth 1.7, 3 years 1.3, 8 years 1 and at 16 years 0.9. Now arm span minus height, birth to 7 years, minus 3 cm, 8 to 12 years, 0 cm, 14 years for girls, plus 1 cm, and 14 years boys, plus 4 cm. Now some other important consideration, if upper segment to lower segment ratio is increased, it means there are short limbs as in skeletal dysplasia, rickets and congenital hypothyroidism. If upper segment to lower segment ratio is decreased, it means either there is short trunk as in scoliosis, Noonan syndrome, prader willi syndrome or there is short neck as in clipper field syndrome. If arm span is less than height with increased upper segment to lower segment ratio, it means there is either short limbs with normal trunk or there is normal limbs with long trunk. If arm span is more than height and upper segment to lower segment ratio is decreased, it means there is short trunk and normal limbs. If arm span is less than height with normal or low upper segment to lower segment ratio, it means there is short trunk and short limbs. Now some important differential diagnosis for short stature. First is short and obese. These are hypothyroidism, Cushing syndrome, Prader Willi syndrome, Lawrence Moon Bartter Beadle syndrome, and pseudo hypoparathyroidism. Next is adolescent girl with short stature. These include Turner syndrome, constitutional isolated growth hormone deficiency, hypothyroidism, and chronic renal failure. Next is short stature with infantile faces, isolated growth hormone deficiency, Lerontophism, celiac disease and hypothyroidism. Next is short stature with short limbs that is long bones short, achondroplasia, hypochondroplasia, rickets, hypothyroidism and renal osteodystrophy. Next short trunk differentials, mucopolysaccharidosis, especially Morquio syndrome, clipper field syndrome, craniospinal irradiation, skeletal dysplasia and scoliosis. Okay friends, Thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more informative videos.